Got a question for you. Simple question. Who are you? Simple question, right? But not so easy to answer. You see, when I got out of physical therapy school, if someone asked me, who am I? I would say a physical therapist. But then as I evolved as a clinician, then as a director, eventually as a business owner, that who am I took on a different meaning. And one of the challenges that I see happening with business owners is if we think we want to grow our business and the way we do it at my company is we help create a business where you don't have to be there day in and day out. You don't have to even be a clinician if you don't want to. You don't have to be the administrator and the manager. We help automate all that. We put in systems and help you build a great team. But one of the fears that I see that, I, that it has to be addressed for people that have this aspiration of wanting to actually own a business and not just a job is this fear of, so who do you become if you start to let go of this identity you've been holding on for so long? You see, all of us started out, started out as, I'm a clinician. If you're a physical therapist, you would say, I'm a physical therapist. I'm a lawyer. I'm a doctor. I'm an accountant. But what happens when you create a business that gives you time, that gives you money, that gives you kind of the life that you really want, but it starts to mess with you a little bit because it starts to change your identity of who you are or who you thought you were. Because you're so much more than just a clinician. You are so much more powerful than that. You have so much more to offer than that. But can you accept it? Because if you can't accept it, no matter of all the strategies and ways and tactics that you can be taught, you're not going to go to that level because you don't see yourself as a business owner. You may see yourself as a clinician. And there's nothing wrong with being a clinician. The problem is, is you're trying to grow a business and the business needs a leader and you're that leader. So if you're having difficulty growing your business, growing your practice, creating a business that has an awesome team and some processes that ha helps optimize what you're doing and becomes efficient so you can make the money that you want. And believe me, even in today's trying times, you can still make the money that you want. Then you want to ask yourself, am I sabotaging this effort? Because I'm afraid of the identity of who I am. Love to hear your comments. Feel free to comment below if you have any thoughts around this.